Welcome to the Elephant Engineering Solutions YouTube channel. Today we're going to be showing you the pavement cross-section dynamic block. The pavement cross-section dynamic block can show concrete, asphalt, aggregate base, or gravel in a cross-section view. In this video we're continuing with the grading cross-section series of blocks. We're moving on to cross-section 2 which slices through the front of the building and so we're going to show the concrete sidewalk, the curb, and the asphalt pavement. Okay, so you can see we have cross-section two set up. We've got the building and the curb shown. The curb, by the way, is going to be highlighted in a subsequent video, so stay tuned for that. So let's get started. I am going to insert the pavement cross-section block from the tool palette. I will go ahead and flip it over to the other side. So now we can grab the block using the insertion point. Let's go ahead and O snap it to the finished floor of the building. I'll select the block, go into this visibility grip and choose the concrete mode. So now I want to, I want to move the end of this concrete sidewalk. I select the block and go ahead and select this move grip. You can see we can move this block and adjust it to whatever our needs are. You can change the length and the slope very quickly and easily. I actually want to set this concrete to a one and a half percent. So I'm going to go over and grab my slope layout tool. I will O snap that to the insertion point. I'm going to line the edge of the concrete up with the back of curb. And I'm just going to eyeball it at about one and a half percent here. And I will go ahead and move this curb down to match the top of the concrete. Okay, so the sidewalk is done. Now let's move on to the asphalt pavement. I'm going to simply copy this block instead of inserting it again. And I'm going to paste it down at the bottom face of curb and we will change it over to the AC mode. Oh, one thing I forgot to do, let's take the 60 inch ruler and let's go ahead and set the depth of this concrete to four inches. Go ahead and move the ruler over to the end of the AC. I wanna make the AC two inches thick. Okay, let's move this guy off to the side for now. I wanna set the pavement at a two and a half percent. I don't need to show so much AC pavement, so I'm gonna shrink it back a little bit. Grab the end of this guy. I'm just gonna eyeball it right about here. Let's move the slope layout tool off to the side here. Now we need to add the aggregate base layer underneath the asphalt. I'm going to select the asphalt section. Go ahead and copy it. We'll paste it to the bottom edge of the asphalt. Let's change this over to the AB mode and grab our ruler one more time. And the aggregate base is going to be six inches. And we're done. You can see it's that easy to assemble a pavement cross section showing concrete walks, asphalt over AB. That's it for this video. If you'd like to purchase these blocks, go ahead and visit my website. It is www.elephant-eng.com or you can click on the link in the description below. Please hit the subscribe button. I'll be posting new videos every time a new block becomes available. And as always, thanks for watching and take care.